Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Rory Johnston. Jessica is off tonight. Investigators are trying to crack the latest scam to hit Middle Tennessee, one that tries to frame you for a federal crime. News Channel 5's Todd Walker is in our newsroom. Todd, investigators have heard of ransomware before, but this latest kind really has the experts scratching their heads. Yeah, it's the first time they've seen hackers take over someone's phone. They say that uh, even the company that makes equipment to investigate computer crimes, they've never seen this before. The message that comes up says the FBI has detected illegal and uh, in explicit uh, content on your phone, and to get your phone unlocked, you have to pay up. We have dealt with the computer aspect of the ransomware. The Coffee County Sheriff Department's latest investigation is one that they aren't quite sure how to proceed with yet. This was the first time we'd had a phone actually done, which, you know, these days phones are nothing more than mobile computers. This cell phone was locked a few days ago after the girl using it tried to stream a music video. She noticed in the upper, um, the upper part of her phone where the notification bar is that there was a download happening but she had no way of stopping it. Within seconds, this screen appeared, saying it was the FBI and the phone had been flagged for child pornography. The phone was locked, and to unlock it, they'd have to pay $500. They have actually sent pornographic images, so the people who have actually are, are conducting this, this extortion in this ruse is actually violating not only that law of extortion, but actually uh, child porno pornography laws. This was not the first time so-called ransomware has been seen in Tennessee. In November, the Dixon County Sheriff had to pay $500 to unlock its computers, which contained valuable evidence and case information. It's a gamble when you do that. It, it, you know, it, it could be legitimate that you pay the money and you get access, and then again you couldn't, and your information's still gone. And really, there's no way to pay your way out of a charge like that, especially online. So that should be your biggest and number one red flag that this is a scam. Take a look at some tips from law enforcement on how to protect yourself. Keep your phone settings so that data can't be downloaded and installed without your permission. Keep your phone software as up to date as possible. The companies that make your phone push those updates to protect you from the latest security flaws. And antivirus and malware apps are available in your app store and as far as investigators can tell these uh this kind of scam is mainly affecting android phones in the newsroom tonight i'm todd walker news channel 5 hd